Welcome, I'm Rose Oatley, and today we're gonna to be making some delicious air fryer chicken wings. Three different ways. Let's get started. If you're in the mood for delicious food, come cook with Rose Oatly. If you have full wings like these, you wanna make sure that you separate them. Wings have three separate parts. You've got the drum, the winget, and the wing tip. You wanna cut right at the joint, this here is your drum. It's got a little bit of excess skin that I'll be cutting in just a bit. Next, we're gonna cut our wing tip. The wing tip doesn't really have any meat, so you really don't need it. You can discard this one. Again, you wanna cut where the joint is. That is where your cartilage is, and it's the easiest to cut. I'm gonna place these in a bowl. Let's go ahead and cut another one. If you're in the right spot, you should be able to cut these very easily. After cutting, I like to give them a good rinse and then pat them dry to remove any moisture. For our first batch, we'll be making buffalo wings. You wanna start by adding a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil, whatever you have, and some salt and pepper. Next, you wanna add one teaspoon of garlic powder. Make sure it's garlic powder and not garlic salt, otherwise you can over salt it. Add one teaspoon of paprika. Today I'm using smoked paprika. I just like the flavor that it gives my chicken wings. Now if you just have regular paprika, that's perfectly fine. Here I'm adding half a teaspoon of cayenne. I don't wanna add too much because I do have a sauce that we're gonna be using later. And I'll also add half a teaspoon of oregano for a little extra flavor. In a bowl, combine four tablespoons of flour and two tablespoons of cornstarch, then add one tablespoon to your wings. This will help with the crispiness. Now give them a good mix to make sure our wings are coated with our delicious spices. You're watching Rose Oatly. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified of any new videos. I have preheated my air fryer by letting it run empty at 400 degrees for six minutes. To help with sticking, I like to spray a little bit of olive oil to my basket before adding my wings. If you're interested in this spritzer, I'll go ahead and post the link in my description below. I love it because it never clogs up on me. Add your wings, making sure you don't overcrowd them. Then I like to hit them with a little bit more olive oil. That's entirely up to you. I'm going to be using a different temperature for a later batch just to kind of show you the difference. But for this one, we are going to be cooking these at 390 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. It's now been 10 minutes. This is what they look like right now. They look pretty good. Now you're going to want to flip them over. It's very important that you flip these over. These have all been flipped over. Now we're gonna continue cooking these at 390 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for an additional 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes, these should be ready. Take a look at these, mmm, they look so good. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and put them all in a bowl. By the way, if you're someone who struggles cleaning their basket at the end once you're done cooking, stick until the end. I'm gonna show you how I clean mine with no issues. I've got all my wings in a bow. Now I'm ready to finish them off with Frank's Red Hot Wings Buffalo Sauce. I love using this sauce. It's so delicious. You can add as little or as much as you want. Now again, these are gonna be spicy. They are buffalo wings. I personally don't care too much for really spicy stuff, but I do have two daughters who absolutely love these spicy wings. So these are gonna be for them. You can shake them up and toss them in a bowl, but this bowl is pretty small, so I don't wanna make a mess here. We'll be cutting into our wings at the end. First, I wanna make all of our batches. All right, so this one is gonna be garlic Parmesan chicken wings. You wanna start with a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper. You want to add about a teaspoon of garlic powder. This time to these, I'm going to add two tablespoons of my flour cornstarch mixture. 
Let's go ahead and give these a mix. Now we're going to be making a delicious sauce to go with these in just a bit. All right, so again to these, you're going to spray your basket with a little bit of olive oil. Don't use any of the aerosol cans because those can damage the coating on your basket. Make sure that you use a spritzer. If you don't have a spritzer, you can also just use a brush and brush the olive oil on your basket. All right, let's go ahead and get these in at 390 Fahrenheit or 200 Celsius for 10 minutes. All right, it's been 10 minutes for these. Let's go ahead and flip these over. Once they're all flipped, we'll put these back in at 390 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for an additional 10 minutes. And in the meantime, let's go make our sauce. We're gonna start by chopping and dicing three garlic cloves. To a pan, add four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Once your butter melts, unless you're impatient like me, you wanna add your three cloves of garlic. Now, if you don't have fresh cloves of garlic, and you only have the bottle minced garlic, that's perfectly fine, just add three teaspoons. I'm gonna turn my heat down to low here real quick. Then we're gonna add pepper, and this is to your taste. Now you're gonna add one fourth cup of Parmesan cheese. I like using this brand, but whatever you have is fine. You could do Parmesan or Parmesan and Romano. You wanna give these a mix and just let them cook for just a bit. Now, if you wanna add a little bit extra Parmesan cheese, you're more than welcome to do so. It's done fairly quick. You wanna stir it for just about a minute and then you should be done. Let's set this aside. Just in time, our wings are ready. Let's take a look at these. These are looking pretty good. Let me show you what they look like here. Nice and crispy and super delish. Let's get these out and put them in a bowl. This batch is ready to be drenched in this delicious sauce. And I really wish you guys could smell this because it smells so good. These are actually some of my favorite wings. Mm. We'll give these a quick toss and I'll set them aside to start on our third batch. For our third batch, we're gonna be making lemon pepper wings. Now I like to make them two different ways. Today, I'm gonna show you this way. This is Laurie's lemon pepper marinade. We're gonna put some in here. Whoops, I just made a mess. I'm gonna have to clean up now. All right, so you just wanna pour some in there, get your bag nicely zipped up. And I like using a Ziploc bag because it's just less mess, guys. All right, we're gonna let these sit for 15 minutes to marinate. After 15 minutes, I like to place them in a bowl. And by the way, if you don't have this marinade, you could always add melted butter with a squeezed lemon and then pepper, and that will be fine too. All right, so we are going to add uh, some pepper, and I also still like to go with my lemon pepper uh, seasoning right on top, even though I've got them in the same type of marinade, I like to add a little bit extra here. To these, I'm only gonna be adding one tablespoon of my flour cornstarch mixture. By the way, I do have a playlist with air fryer recipes that I think you might like. So be sure and check out my channel. I've got quite a few in there. Let's get these babies in. And I don't think I mentioned it, but my air fryer is an emerald brand with a 5.2 liter basket. All right, so now this time we are gonna be cooking these at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. And I'm gonna show you the difference. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. Take a look at these. See how crispier they got right on top? I kind of wanted to show you the difference between the two temps so that you can decide which one you like best. Please keep in mind that every air fryer can differ, so just make sure that you always check your chicken temp. It should be done at 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 degrees Celsius.
As you could see, I did sprinkle a little more lemon pepper seasoning on there. All right, this time for this side, I'm gonna go back to 390 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. All right, these are ready. Now let's pull them out and take a look. Now these also look pretty good. This is gonna be entirely up to you. How crispy do you like them? All right, let's go ahead and pull these out and I'm gonna show you all my chicken wings. We are going to also cut into one. All right, guys, we've got all of our chicken wings. Let's go ahead and cut into one of these. Look at this, so tender and juicy. Get in my belly. Mmm, this is so good. Look at that. Look how tender and juicy my chicken is. Mmm, I like to eat mine also with ranch dressing. How do you like to eat yours? Let me know in the comments below. Now for cleaning, let me show you how I clean my basket. We're all left with this mess, right? All right, so as soon as I remove my uh, chicken wings, I bring my basket to the sink. We're gonna fill it up using hot water. I like to squirt some of this Dawn dish soap in here. Let's get a little bit of that in there. We wanna make sure that it fills all the way to the top. Then we're gonna use my Dawn power wash and I like to spray it all on top and around on the sides. Now make sure that when you fill up your basket, you're letting, you're letting it fill all the way to the top, okay? Once your basket is full, it's very important that you let it soak for several hours or even overnight for stubborn stains. Tonight, it's been five hours. As you can see, it's the end of the night. I'm ready to come clean this baby. All right, let me go ahead and empty my water here and see all this gunk here. It's all gonna be gone in just a bit. First, we wanna separate our basket from the bottom piece. Let's start with the bottom piece. Now to clean this, you're gonna wanna use a sponge. I like to use these double-sided sponges where it's a little bit rougher on one side than the other. What you don't wanna use is anything harsh like this. This is just gonna scratch your uh, coating and you don't wanna do that, okay? So just take a little soap and with the back of your sponge, you just wanna clean it. Now look how clean this looks already. This is so easy, guys. Now let's give this a rinse and then work on our other part of the basket where it's the most gunkiest. I honestly don't understand how people have so many problems. If you just follow these steps, your basket will be clean. Now for this one, what I first like to do is just take a paper towel and wipe most of it off or as much as I can from it. Then I go back in and wash it completely with soap. And here you go, a spanking clean basket. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure and give it a thumbs up and share with friends. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on this side. And don't forget to click the bell to get notified of all of my new videos. Be sure to check out these links on this side. Thanks for watching and your support. Share with your friends.